Hello, beautiful souls. Thank you guys so much for joining me here and welcome to my table. If you're new here, hello, hello. My name is Zachary. It's nice to meet you. And if you're returning, it's good to see you guys again. Pull up a chair. Let's get into your message here. My collective friends. So it has been a minute since we've done a collective here. And um, I just really wasn't feeling there was a collective message that needed to come through. But today I am feeling that there is a message coming through. So my collective friends, I did sit down in meditation to channel messages and only one thing came through. But as I was doing some reading online about this symbol, it turns out there's quite a bit to talk about. So the symbol that came through to me was a date and it was dried, a dried date. All right. Looking at the history of the date and the symbolism of the date. Well, you may know or you may not know the date actually has quite a bit of significance um, in our human history. It's one of the oldest cultivated trees in the world. Um, back in Egypt, Mesopotamia, we can see evidence of them being utilized and cultivated as early back as 4000 BCE. So that's kind of cool. I thought that was cool. The date though itself has been considered the tree it comes from, the palm, the date palm that it comes from is considered the tree of life. It is something that um, is very versatile. It's packed with vitamins and minerals. It's been touted throughout history as something that does have healing properties to it. And science has proven to date that, well, it is packed with vitamins and nutrients. So there is some truth to that, allowing the body to be nourished and strengthened in order to heal itself. I love it. So moving forward into or further into this message here, uh, one thing that did stand out to me about the date palm as well is that it takes five years for it to produce fruit, but it lives for uh, around 100 years. So to me, there was something message wise about um, like late blooming. Maybe there's somebody here who's experiencing some feelings of being behind in in producing fruit um, and coming through here message wise for that is hold on you're doing just fine okay um you've got many many years to produce fruit it's okay that it takes a few to start off okay so let's get into the oracle messages that came through here i am actually very excited to get into this message looking at what's come through so far life and prosperity is what the date symbolizes so I'm here to talk about life and prosperity. Um, the Starseed Oracle is what Spirit wanted to work with today. The first card that came through is Earthed. Earthed. So Earthed is um, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. Tricky, tricky. Just like rocking a rhyme that is right on time. <laughs> to be in the world, but not of it. So... This card, when it comes through, we're talking about um, the middle ground between transcendence and imminence. So those of us that have incarnated here, whether you're starseed or any other compilation of energies, um, we can tend to gravitate towards one camp over the other, transcendence or imminence. Transcendence is going to be more longing for the stars, longing for the heavens, longing to be with the angels, maybe even feeling jealous of the angels to be closer to God or source. Imminence is going to be a greater connection to the earthly realm here and the body. So the book talks about, um, let's gonna hold this little, this little egg coming down here. The book talks about striking a balance, finding a good balance between the two. Um, that is what we are here to do is is find that balance. This next card here that comes through also talks about balance. So messenger, serious energy bringing harmony and balance. Harmony. <laughs> harmony and balance. So um, this card when it comes through is reminding us of the divine masculine and feminine energies that exist within all of us that have nothing to do with our gender, right? Um, or any other expected role that we may think or others think that we need to play based on our gender. I know a lot of you understand where I'm coming from with that, but some are still learning the difference between divine energies and gender. They are not connected. Okay. Um, they are essentially the explanation of 
how what it is that we're doing here being human there are energies that are going to be masculine that are action driven putting force forward being present okay being logical these are divine masculine energies divine feminine we're talking about receptivity healing um intuition okay these are these reside within all of us every single one of us okay so we're talking about that balance of our own experience whether it is these these divine energies inside of us or how we may be feeling or connecting to this experience here as a whole are are we reaching out to the heavens and the stars are we feeling uncomfortable here and wanting to be somewhere else well the recommendation or reminder that comes through is we did choose to be here and personally on a personal note um i go through this a lot you guys especially the first part of my life here has has really been about transcendence i have been trying to escape this place forever right and it's taken me some time to recognize that that isn't the goal here are things hard yeah are some things um really hard yeah <laughs> painful even yes it's all it's all part of of what we're doing here and learning and growing as a soul so um I haven't personally ever really like fully gone into the earth realm here and being super connected to the body, although um, I'm learning more what that means to get comfortable with that. So you guys are probably all across the gamut here of um, where you may be. Maybe you are noticing you're feeling pretty balanced yourself, in which case, awesome. I love that. So we're talking about balancing our lives in some way. Um, I think especially nowadays, or just being human in general, <laughs> it is human to be knocked off of a balance because balance is not something that we're ever going to be able to sit in as a static position, right? We're always going to fall one way or the other. And it's this is a reminder here coming through to not give up on that dance or to um, limber up, become a little bit more flexible so that you're ready to dance to dance this dance okay all right um let's get into the message a little bit further here um there was something so i did i did get as i was looking a little bit further into messenger here especially with the divine masculine and feminine energies um i was asking spirit like are we are we going real hot hot and heavy into what these divine energies look like etc. Um, I don't feel so much that we're doing that. What does come through was actually like a five of swords moment here. So this, this request to avoid conflict, there may be conflict, there may be a reason to fight, there's always a reason to fight. But there's a request here to not participate in that. And I feel personally, um, like even just with that statement, like doesn't matter what your your parts are, right? Doesn't matter what your gender is. With divine energy it like we could take procreation out of it which is all gender has to do with <laughs> um and we're left with these defining energies of experience really uh, i i feel in my own personal experience i've met lots of people um where there is an attachment to a specific energy say i'm female so divine feminine is is my jam or I'm male, so divine masculine is where it's at. And there is, um, I, I feel that that is slipping into a little bit more what Earth is talking about and being a little bit too much of the world and the body. Like I was saying, gender has nothing to do with divine energies. And there is a lot of information out there that says differently. And I just want to say as a personal message here, because spirit wants me to share that <laughs> um it has nothing to do with gender okay you guys and and i feel like that may be what the conflict is that that five of swords energy is coming through we're being requested to step away from okay we're we're moving to a place of um acceptance of of many different things and i understand you know patriarchy okay patriarchy <laughs> is different then something like divine masculine energy, okay? I just, 
I, I feel like there is some, there's a war <laughs> going on between genders and that's starting to bleed into divine masculine and feminine energy. And it needs to not be that way for the health of all, for life and prosperity, right? Like we're talking about the date. Okay, I'll get off my soup box on that. Um, and we'll get into the message a little bit further. Spirit, what do we want to move into here? Crow, okay. Urban Crow Oracle. Can we get a little more information on this message? What are we doing? Um, and if you guys are new here, these collective messages, I do a little bit more freestyle um, versus the, the main signs being a little bit more structured. So uh, welcome, all right? And I do have... Personal readings open if you guys are interested in that before I get too far into this. There's a link in the description of the video. You can check out my website. Uh, memberships I do have open as well. Hello, you guys. Thanks for your support. Those that are channel members. There's a link in the description there too if you want to uh, check out channel membership. I do have extended readings and that sort of thing depending on which tier you want to look at. Okay, back to these messages. So luck and community actually fell out here. So I like, I like to see, uh, well, both of them. I like to see luck here, though, as we're talking about prosperity. So this is a reminder, um, luck. What is luck? I don't necessarily believe in luck. Like someone is just lucky. They just have all of the things come to them, and there's nothing that's being done to, um, to own that. Luck, to me, is preparation meeting opportunity. So when this is coming through, it's letting you know that there is some sort of opportunity coming forward here that's going to feel pretty lucky. Um, prosperity with the date, like we're talking about healing, is something that was coming through too, just with how nutritious the date is and versatile. Um, but a reminder to prepare. Prepare for the moment that you're, you're wanting um, so that when it does arrive, you're ready to cross that threshold and into that door. Life can open doors for us, but we still have to take the courage to step through those doors, right? Right. So community coming through here as well. Um, this to me is speaking to, like I was saying, if, if you are somebody who's in a camp of um, division, we'll say division between these divine energies when looking at the outside world around us, i.e. gender, okay, or perceived gender even, <laughs> Because that's something that's not really like, you know, up for discussion. It's it's a, a private thing for ourselves, right? Most of the time, or it should be. If we want to share it, we can. If if we don't, we don't need to. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't have anything to do with divine energies. So with community coming through here, I feel like this is a call to um, to build more community or to feel into your community a little bit more. Feel into yourself even. I'm getting judgment, judgment card vibes going through your own experience and discovering are are you are there hang-ups okay are there um hang-ups in the ego surrounding what i was just saying are you somebody who attaches divine energies to gender if that's the case the message that's coming through on that is um that is divisive that is divisive and although there are many things that can be um changed, and I, I do believe will be as we go along here and as we're evolving further, that will balance dynamics between all peoples, regardless of what your situation is that you were born into genetically, um, religion, skin color, whatever. I, I know that everything is not perfect right now, and that's not what I'm saying at all. But what I'm getting is the message to dig a little bit deeper inside of ourselves personally to discover, are we playing a part in further division or are we, which I feel would be going a little bit too far into the, the body and the human experience there, being in the world and being of it. So are you noticing that effect in your experience too? If so, it's no blame or shame, no blame or shame, y'all. Um, I've been on this journey too, okay? And there's discoveries that are constantly happening. We're constantly growing and that's the beauty of being alive. So let's get a little bit further into this. Um, I feel like we do want one of these. No, which deck? You do want these. Okay. One of these, and then I'll get into some tarot messages. Strength. <laughs> this is interesting too. 
Um, the strength card was standing out as I was meditating on these messages before recording too. Strength, determination, perseverance, and self-discovery. So that self-discovery I was just talking about, going inside and examining, um, am I, what role am I playing in the greater narrative of divine energies and or gender? Okay. Um, and this isn't, this is not uh, back to the five of swords here. This is not meant to be divisive, even in what I'm saying, or meant to be a war. Um, and if you do have anything combative to say about that, I would say, please keep it to yourself, because that's not that's not why I'm here. I'm here open for discussion. Absolutely. Um, there certainly have been some comments that are completely out of line. And I understand that this is a part of being on social media, but from one human being to another, um, stop it. If this is you, knock it off. Um, we are all people here too, okay? We all have hearts, we all have emotions, we all have egos. Um, that is uh, just to some people. I've had some issues with comments recently, and you all know who you are. Those of you who that doesn't apply to, I love you guys so much. You are truly beautiful, and I appreciate the conversations that we do have. Um, I'll get back to strength here real quick. I just saw be open to change, be receptive to new experiences. Change leads to growth was at the bottom. So maybe you are finding, maybe you're somebody who has this deeply ingrained that because I am X, Y, Z gender, I am more this or whatever this. And this is, um, again, no blame or shame. This is an opportunity to start examining that. How do you truly feel about that? That's kind of actually where I would start here examine is this you do you feel like gender is attached to divine energy if that's the case i encourage you to explore that a little bit further where did that knowledge come from who gave you that knowledge is that knowledge coming from inside if it's not um i would question it if it is coming from inside i would still be open to questioning anything okay at the end of the day you guys still get to decide what's best for you but be open to change so strength with strength coming out here, um, that came through when I was meditating on these energies, this idea of like a gentle hand in making a change to a gentle uh, with a gentle hand. I do kind of feel like for someone or for some of you, this may be a bit of an inflammatory message. And that certainly isn't the intention. Um, I can't control how you respond to something personally, but the encouragement is still here. If that's you, if something is inflammatory about what it is I'm saying here, I would even more so encourage you guys to look at that if that's you, okay? When we're triggered with something that we're presented with, it is not about the information that's being presented to us, it's about us. What is being triggered inside of us based on that information? That is an opportunity to change, okay? That's not for everyone, but that's for someone, like I said. And this is a general message, you guys, so please keep that in mind. You are intelligent. Please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher if these messages are for you. And if they're not, it's okay to leave them behind. It's okay to uh, click away or to scroll on, you know what I'm saying? And I did actually, real quick before I get into the tarot, um, the channel did hit a year on the 6th of October. So you guys, thank you so much for your love and support. As always, I am giving away a free reading to celebrate and the instructions to enter are in a separate video. So I'm going to put a link to that video in the description of the video here. And then also in this corner, there'll be um, a link to the video at the end of this video. All right. You can watch that, get instructions on how to enter. I'll be doing that through the end of the month here before drawing. So thank you. Thank you guys. All right. Tarot messages here, please. Spirit for collective. Let's get a little bit further into this. What is the um, what is the intention of this message? Knight of Swords. Okay, so Knight of Swords, um, putting putting thought into action. So moving moving um, thought into uh, creative this realm manifestation kind of form. I feel like. This is definitely, I would say, since we're talking about divine energies, this would definitely be a little bit more divine masculine kind of energy. Um, but hastiness is a part of this, too. We can rush into something without maybe thinking about it first. Uh, and as as I'm giving this message here, channeling this message, what's coming out is what I was just saying there. Are, are you... Um, 
replicating or regurgitating a program or an instruction that was given to you? Or are you taking the time? And that's kind of what I would feel like this. Like you're rushing into something by just saying something that you were programmed with as a child. Your parents told you, I don't know, women are more divine feminine, men are more divine masculine. You see what I'm saying? Or need to be, okay? Uh, even though throughout our entire history, things have flopped a bunch of times because, I don't know, I won't get too far into that, but gender outside of procreation is pretty created by society. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying that it's changed. <laughs> it's changed a lot over time. So looking at, and there's the Empress here at the bottom, there's that divine feminine. That divine feminine. It feels to me that there's a request here with this message coming in. For some of you, because I feel some of you do understand the difference between these energies here. Um, but for others of you, there's an instruction coming through of really learning what that means. Um, with the divine feminine here at the bottom, the empress, we are in a time where the divine feminine is needing healing within each and every one of us. And that is that is because over time... The divine masculine in, has moved into its shadow. We have been in a state of action, push, produce, logic, okay? That, um, and if you want to move that into the patriarchy, <laughs> men over time have been in this place of power over women, which needs to change, but that isn't necessarily directed, directly connected to these divine energies. So what I'm back to that though, um, that divine feminine is requiring healing within each of us, regard, regardless of your gender, because we have not really been allowed to express emotions in a healthy way. Um, intuition has not been something over time that has been allowed to be freely expressed. Um, there have even been people burned at the stake for it. That is the witch wound, right? Um, you talk about burning witches or, or whatever. Most of the time, it was because they were doing something involving their divine feminine a witch can be a man or it could be a woman okay <laughs> um so for someone here there's there's a request here to open yourself up to um maybe seeing it a little bit differently if you do see that connected to gender okay um what else do we have here with the knight of swords please ten of cups so community again here I'm getting this message of, um, this is connecting to the divine and, and love as well. Happy family. Um, as we're examining maybe what we believe or how we feel about divine energies and balance and what that looks like and what that means, what I'm getting is like the role that we play in the family. So kind of back to gender here. This this seems to be what this message is about, gender and, and divine energies. Um, and I honestly, I've tried to kind of stay away from it a bit. And spirit has been pushing me into talking about it. So I guess here we are. <laughs> it is not my goal, like I said, to be divisive. But I know that this is something that's going to be divisive to people. Um, and I can't control that. But here we are. Here we are. Um, so yes, there's a, there's a call to question maybe the expectations that you're placing on yourself based on what role it is you feel you're supposed to be playing in a family, in a relationship, in society. Okay? <laughs> uh, because slipping into that or, or um, I don't want to put that. If all we ever do throughout life is play the role that, that life, society, I'm going to say society, not life, that society is saying we should play, um, that I feel like is being stuck in the human part of earth in the imminence component. We're stuck in the body. We're looking at, Oh, well, this is what I showed up as, as a body. So this is my role. I mean, I, truly, if we sit down and look at that, I think most people watching this are going to agree, <laughs> uh, looking at that as horseshit, like what a weird way, <laughs> what a weird way to expect uh, people to do certain things throughout their life. Absolutely bizarre. <laughs> That's absolutely bizarre. Because uh, you could be born, regardless of your gender, with a specific set of skills. And if at the time you're born in society, let's say you're born as a man. Well, I'm gonna maybe give myself as an example. 
uh, with my singing. I have a wide range, okay? Um, love to sing power ballads. Whitney Houston, Celine Dion's my jam. That is not something that has always been looked at as like a very positive thing. You were a dude, you shouldn't be singing that way. You see what I'm saying? Well, I'm sorry, not sorry. That's um, how I was born. <laughs> that's, that's what I came into this world to share. So uh, maybe you're in a situation like that too, where society is saying you can't express a certain component of yourself or something about you is not okay because you are this gender. Um, I'm all about unraveling that program because it's horseshit. It's horseshit. Okay. And if you disagree, I really don't care. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Feel free to unsubscribe and get the hell out of here. That works for me too. Um, the chariot here at the bottom. So we're talking about positive forward movement. And this is positive forward movement. We are moving into life and prosperity. What life was meant to be. Could you imagine, imagine for a moment, a world where we're born and we're able to express and be whatever the hell it is that we are instead of what our parents are expecting us to be or what our gender reveal party said that we were okay and this isn't this is not a forum for <laughs> i'm not here to debate okay right or wrong on anything i understand lots of things that are going on right now I also understand there's a lot of control from people that need to not be having control over other people's bodies. Okay, moving right along. And I do feel passionate about that. Moving right along. Um, what does Collective do with this information? What do we need to do with this information, please? Wheel of Fortune comes out here, okay. So this is a, this is a karmic lesson, you guys. Things are improving for the better. Ace of Swords comes through here. And this did kind of come through in reverse. Um, <laughs> I'll get to this in a second. So uh, the Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Pentacles at the bottom as well. A need for movement. There's a need to move from maybe the way that we uh, feel about something into something else, okay? Being open to change. But the Wheel of Fortune, this is change. We can't control this. The message that's coming through on this is, times they are a change in. And you, we, have the ability to make a decision on whether or not we go with the ride or we um, we resist it, okay? Those are the only choices we have with the wheel. Times, they are changing. I'm not saying that we all need to accept everything that anybody else feels or thinks. What is coming to mind, though, is personally, or what's coming through in this message is personally, to start going inside and examining where it is and why it is that we feel maybe even very strongly about certain things involving gender and divine energies specifically. Okay, that's what this message seems to be about. Times are changing. This is not something that you can control. If you are in resistance to things that are changing, I would highly encourage you to take a breath and to examine why there's so much resistance. Where is the fear? Why is there fear? When things are different, that is where fear comes from. But that is a lower animal brain operation, okay? And we are also higher evolved beings. That's what the strength card is all about. Now is the time to quiet those lower animal impulses with the higher mind with a gentle touch, okay? Now, the Ace of Swords that's coming out here, and this did come through in reverse, this to me, this is the truth, is cutting through bullshit, you guys. Being in reverse here, resistance is what I'm getting from that. There's a resistance to the truth for some of you. And I, again, I fully understand that this message may not be widely accepted by a lot of people. I am used to living a life where I am not widely accepted by a lot of people, and that's okay. I'm not here to be accepted. I'm here to share this message. So there's a need to cut through the horseshit, you guys. If this is you, if you're struggling with, um, maybe as an example, the way that other people want to live their life, if that's making you angry in any sort of way, that is an encouragement to not only examine that, but also examine what we're talking about here, okay? Why is there resistance to somebody else living a life that's different than you? Is there jealousy there? Is there something that you are wanting to express or live that was quashed at some point in your life? These are the things we're examining, okay? So we're wanting to turn this 
ace of swords in the upright position to see and accept the truth for things the way that they are. What you resist persists too, okay, you guys? So even if you are in disagreement with something that's that's somebody wants to live their life in a certain way <laughs> or is a certain way, maybe you feel someone's not masculine enough or feminine enough, not divine energy wise, societally speaking, um, this is an opportunity for you to start questioning why you even have those behaviors. Why are you even labeling people or collating people into specific expectations of presentation? That's weird. Okay. If that's you, that's weird. It's really weird. Um, and there's a lot of things you could be doing better with your time, <laughs> like living your own damn life. Right. And that's, that seems to be what this message is about finding that balance between the divine energies and between wanting to be in the heavens here and being too attached to the physical form. It's hard. It's hard to, to exist in that place. I'm still working on it too. Okay. 3111 there on the timer. Um, I feel like this is a, a time to create new connections or to reevaluate the way that you are connecting with others or not. Okay. So um, let's see here. What's coming next here for collective? Let's see after this advice, what else do they need to know in the future? Seven of wands. Okay. So we're talking about centering. This is a, this is a card of um, protection. Really. It's like, um, maintaining your position. So I can see this going a couple ways. Um, if you're still watching this message, of course, those of you that have left or are going to click away, disagree with this message, whatever, I do get this feeling of digging the heels in maintaining position on the hill. This is what I believe. I'm never going to move away from that. Okay. You do you boo boo. Um, absolutely nobody forcing you to do anything. I would, again, encourage, if that is your behavior, to be so rigid in any way, um, loosen up. Become flexible. You don't always have to change your mind on what it is that you believe or you think or you see, but the ability to be open to a different point of view, to truly, like, to not have fear or anger present a boundary so that you can't actually see evidence that's presented to you. When we're in that state of fear, when something is challenging what it is that we believe, it is no different, literally to the brain. We've done scan, we've, we've examined this a lot. It's no different than actually being under physical attack, which is why it's so difficult to get people to see the truth of us of whatever situation um, all of this fighting online, right? It's never going to go anywhere because when we have that fear and anger boundary up in front of us, that is, imp it's impenetrable. Prefrontal cortex is shut off, might as well turned all blood off to the prefrontal cortex. We're not thinking critically. We're thinking with our reptile brain, attack, defend. So what I'm getting from this is, um, there's an opportunity coming forward in listening to this advice or just hearing this in general where you're, you're going to feel that you need to defend your position or to call into question the position that you are standing in. No shame or blame to change minds, okay? This is growth. It's what we're here to do. Um, but I do encourage you guys to challenge yourselves. Challenge yourselves to even just try to see something from somebody else's angle. Like I said, you don't have to change your mind, but the ability to be open to that that is that is love for you and for everyone else here okay um four of pentacles here at the bottom yes this may this may rock your foundation i definitely am getting that from this message uh your security and stability and if that's the case and you've made it this far um you are safe you are safe here it is safe to live and that's that's that sweet spot balancing these energies between imminence and transcendence is safety okay and i get i get that life is life be life in okay i know there are things out there that are not safe in general what i'm what i'm saying though is there is a place where we can experience safety okay all right i do i'm getting an animal oracle card here and then i i'm feeling like we're getting close to the end of the message here and then i do want to pull a mudra card for you as well 
What other energy is here for the collective regarding this message, please? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh-huh. <laughs> oh my god. Lizard. Okay, I was just saying liz the lizard brain. <laughs> so, okay, no shame or blame. Like I was saying, I can tell my face is getting hot. No shame or blame. We do tend... I have a lizard brain too, right? We have a mammalian brain. We have a higher brain. We all have this and we can all slip into those different components of it, especially the lizard brain when we're feeling that we're not safe or we're under attack. You are not under attack. Nobody is attacking what it is that you believe by having a different belief. No, you aren't under attack when somebody is asking you to see something differently. Okay? Um, that, though, is something that is... You got to take care of that yourself, okay? We have to take care of that ourselves. Nobody is going to make us feel anything other than that, okay? We're the ones who have to take ourselves out of reptilian brain, okay? The lamb and octopus are what came through here. So this is funny to me because the lamb is, um, well, first of all, I find this interesting because the date palm, religiously speaking, there are, um, it does have, connections to uh, many different religions as well. Lamb, Lamb of God here could be connected to that too. Your life and prosperity, that's the message that's coming through. The Lamb has a message. Lamb has a message for you. And it's a quiet message, but the Lamb is going to persist in this message until you hear it. So totally hilarious to me. Those of you that are struggling to even allow a different message to come through, um, that's exactly the message that's, that's here for you. There's a need to get flexible, to let the walls down. Nobody is attacking your position, okay? I mean, there are people that are combative. When we're talking about having constructive conversations, um, it's difficult, no matter what side you are, to keep open, to keep an open heart. But this message that's coming through is the divine energies, the balance between imminence and transcendence. And until you hear it, it's going to continue to come through. This I find interesting also. The octopus, this is a, a card of boundaries. It's about boundaries. You could either be somebody who is trying to get into somebody else's life or business, or somebody else maybe getting into your life or business. Maybe you're somebody here in this message where you're, you're used to people trying to tell you what it is that you should or shouldn't be. We could be on either side of this. Um, but... The request here with the, the octopus is to stop it. <laughs> stop. Boundaries are very important. Even with this message, there's, there's consent here. In receiving this message, you've clicked on this video, you know, that, that is different. I'm not showing up to your door and saying, <laughs> I'm not proselytizing. I'm not a, a Mormon missionary, right? <laughs> so they literally live right next door to me, so I find it totally funny if, you guys know I was raised Mormon, so uh, there's definitely some personal stuff there. But anyway, <laughs> there's a request here to watch the boundaries. And I feel like that could move into Earth, too, with transcendence and, um, and imminence. Uh, the, boundary, the boundary is being in the world, but not of it. To be in the world, but not of it. So, you guys, um, take a breath if you've made it this far. And I love you. I love you guys, especially if you've made it this far. I know this probably wasn't the easiest message for some of you. And um, I'm not sorry for that, but I wish that it weren't. I feel this is so important to be able to talk about what, real, like what we're doing here, what it means to be human, to speculate, to share information without it being an attack, to be able to have discussions intelligently, both intellectually and emotionally, without it becoming an attack. And uh, in this day and age, I find that that's very difficult for a lot of people for many different reasons. And the biggest one, though, I feel is a lot of us aren't feeling seen. A lot of us aren't feeling validated in our own experience. And because of that, we start to see others around us who may be living the life they want to live, and we become angry. Because personally, we want to be living whatever life we need to, but we have given in to the restrictions of what was placed on us. See what I'm saying? I would really challenge you guys to look at that if, if, um, if you're feeling that way, okay? 
All right, let's pull, um, let's do a Mudra card here. Oh, I feel like there's one last, one last here. Last message and then Mudra, okay. For Collective here. The Travelers. <laughs> I love this. Um, so I'm actually going to read this from the book. This is, a, this is a card specific to this deck, but it refers to positive forward movement or forward movement. There's, um, there's another component to this, though. I want to read it one second. Is it at the beginning? Maybe. Are you going to let me read it? I thought it was in the major... It wouldn't be a major arcana, I guess. I was like... I think my worst fear, I guess, just being silent here on camera. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. So at the end. Bonus card. Here we go. Travelers. Okay. So the Travelers card was created by the artist specifically for the Curious Travels tarot deck. It signifies forward motion and adventure. It's optional for the reader to include it. Yes. If pulled in a reading, it has the same meaning regardless of orientation. You're bound for fresh experiences. And it is important not to lose yourself in the wave of new opportunities and fresh faces. Mm. Take time to reflect on your past memories and cherish them as you step into something new. Do your best to document these new adventures as you begin. Start a photo book, video diary, or journal. Your future self will thank you for it. Love that, actually. So this does feel, depending on where you're at here, um, on the scale of acceptance, op being open to new information, etc. cetera, um, there's a new journey here. There's an adventure that's available in um, finding that nice sweet spot between, okay? Allowing yourself to move into this new adventure. I know there's something about this message here that is intended to make a change. It's not my intention to force any change, but um, I do feel very strongly about that message, especially with the divine energies. I know that's a message that um, I've come here to share, and I'm sure that we'll slip into that a bit more. Oh, my light's turned off. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Queen of Pentacles here at the bottom, moving into your confidence and authenticity, you guys. There's a difference between authenticity and programming, okay? And it's our job here to get to the center of it and, and figure that out. All right, I am going to pull a mudra card here to close this out, and then I will say goodbye. So for collective here, mudras are hand signs or symbols that direct energy to uh, produce a specific kind of function, typically in meditation. Patience mudra. <laughs> totally, I can see that. Patience mudra. I can wait. So we're hanging on to the um, ring finger here in meditation. I'm going to read the back here real quick. This mudra fortifies the liver, regulates the body temperature, and helps to balance out strong emotions and inner conflicts. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Perfect mudra for this. Wrap the first four fingers of one hand around the ring finger of the other whilst pressing the thumb onto the middle of the palm. Everything which grows regenerates during a healing process, for instance, develops and unfolds needs a certain time. Instead of impatiently frittering our energies away, we can use the times we can use the times of waiting for better things. Think of a tall, majestic tree in the prime of life and ask it to share its patience, steadfastness, perseverance, strength, and inner composure with you. You inhale its energies with long, deep breaths. My patience and inner calm increase from moment to moment. Or a palm tree, eh? date palm. Okay, collective, I love you guys so, so much. And thank you, especially if you have made it this long, this far here, for your patience and for your openness to this message um, and support as always, like I said. So I'm going to leave this here, my dear, dear friends. Um, you can check out the description of this video for additional information. Like I said, readings, membership, all that jazz. Free reading is in there too if you want to check that out. Please like, share, comment, subscribe if this message did resonate with you guys. I truly appreciate the support and I couldn't do this without you. I wouldn't do this without you. <laughs> You're the reason why I do this. So um, my Cash App and PayPal links are in the description too if you feel called to donate and this message did resonate. I truly appreciate it. It's not mandatory. But to those who do support the channel that way, thank you guys so, so much. It goes a long way. You have no idea. And again, I couldn't do this without you. So take care of yourselves. Collective, I will see you until next time. Be well.